We all came here, it was 1975, and we entered. And I felt I was taken by this house. And I just say to Baljus, I'd like to live here. A sort of things mm, that comes to you without thinking nothing more, no? And we are so excited. Hotel owner come to uh, us. I tried to sell the hotel, but nobody interested in. So uh, Baljus said, I am interested in. And it was decided in one second. So I said that we came for tea and we just remained. My name is Setsuko Krososuka de Rora. Uh, I was born in Tokyo and I met Baljus in uh, 1961. And uh, we married in 1965. He was a director of a French Academy in Rome, Villa Medici. We lived there uh, 16 years together, and after we moved to Switzerland. I really feel, you see, the root of tree, no? It's here, it's a sort of root of my life now. I can say this is a house of Baljus because here is the longest moment he stayed one place in his life. And this year was the 20th anniversary of the death of Baljus. That I felt after the death of Baljus, how ex extraordinary uh, life I had. But when I was with him, Everything was normal because I didn't know the another way of life. I was sort of protected by him, but once I became alone to confront another world, I realized that my life was extraordinarily uh, rich and some special. Uh, in, yes, as a special value. It's the biggest chalet in Switzerland, and 1754 was built. So here is 800 meters uh, altitude. We are really in the mountain. It's some period of the year, we don't have sun. And here, the spring, you have to wait, which is very beautiful. And also the scenery is great importance. You open the window and if you see a sort of modern architecture in some part, he cannot paint. He paint a sort of vision of beauty which harmonized with his vision. Balch Studio is at the opposite side of the house. It was ga a garage of the hotel. We decide to do a studio, which is very good because to paint, it's very important, the northern light. Each time I come here, I'm moved. Uh, I'm moved by the sort of invisible presence so strongly to me here. Uh, the reason why that I wanted to leave the studio as if he can return whenever he likes to paint. And the last moment of Balchus was here. We were at the hospital in Lausanne. He said that, let's go back home. 
Otherwise, it's too late. I understood uh, what he meant. So uh, I talked to the doctor and with oxygen and uh, with all the necessity, we decided to come back to Grand Chalet. When we passed through that narrow entrance, I was so happy because when we left home to the hospital, I thought, I was wondering if we could come back again together. I have to go to studio, he said, and I thought it's wonderful. It was in February, it's terribly cold, uh, but we heat the stove and when it becomes warm, we took him and we prepared that long chair. My daughter took his left hand, I took his right hand, and we stayed here uh, three hours. He continuously repeating, should continue, should continue. Really, the repeat and repeat again. And I should say that was the most wonderful moment in my life. So I think this studio has but uh, shared that air and shared his last words. <laughs> the reason why I'm always quite moved. And this is the only place I feel his presence alive in the studio. It seems to me he was born as a painter and he died as a painter. And atelier is where he lives, really. <laughs>